Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about meteorological environment. The objective of this meteorological environment is topic studies to know about various meteorological elements, to know how they are measured, and to know what are their effects on the health. First of all, we are going to discuss about what is meteorology and what is climate. Meteorology is the branch of science concerned with the process and phenomena of the atmosphere, especially as a means of forecasting the weather. Whereas climate is a geographical concept representing a summation of the whole range of meteorological environment. Meteorological environment comprises of the few elements which are listed here. First is atmospheric pressure, air temperature, humidity, rainfall, direction and speed of wind, movement of clouds, and character of weather. The types of thermometer were used in the uh, air temperature measurement are tidal thermometer, variable thermometer, maximum thermometer, minimum, six globe thermometer, wet globe thermometer, silver thermometer, and Carta thermometer. In this list, the dry bulb and wet bulb thermometer are more important, whereas Carta and globe thermometer also important in correction of effective temperature. Now we are focusing on heat stress indices. First of all is equatorial comfort index. This is the comfort index index measured by three indi 30 indicators which includes the physical and environmental aspects and some of the solar exposure, radiation exposure and weather exposure. Heat stress index comprises of the relation of the amount of evaporation required as related to the maximum ability of the average person to perspire. Predicted 4 hours sweat rate includes the maximum uh, maximum ability of the person to sweat in 4 hours, which is uh, normally in 1 to 3 liter per hour in normal range. Now the effect of heat stress are heat stroke, heat hyperthyroxia, heat exhaustion, heat cramps and heat syncope. In which heat exhaustion and heat stroke difference we should understand. So in heat exhaustion, patient or person can feel faint or dizziness, excessive sweating, cool, pale, calm skin, nausea, vomiting, rapid or weak pulse and muscle cramps. While in heat stroke, there is a throbbing, headache, no sweating, body temperature above 103 red hot dry skin, nausea or vomiting may be present, rapid or strong pulse and may lose consciousness. Third topic is humidity. Humidity is the synonym of moisture. The amount of moisture which air can hold depends upon its temperature. Humans are very sensitive to humidity as the skin relies on the air to get rid of the moisture. There are two types of humidity, absolute and absolute is where the weight of water vapor in a unit of volume air expressed at the grams per cubic meter of air, whereas relative humidity is a ratio of the amount of water vapor actually in the air to the maximum amount of water vapor for saturation at that particular temperature and pressure. The most common way of describing the atmospheric moisture is relative humidity. For example, a reading of 100% relative humidity means that the air is totally saturated with water vapor and can not hold any more creating the possibility of rain. Viewpoint represent as a temperature temperature to which air would have to be cooled for saturation to occur. High dew point indicates a high water vapor content, and low dew point indicates low water vapor content, and there is a frost point in which there is a no water vapor content in the air. Precipitation means the collective term, it is the collective term used for rain, snow, hail, dew or frost, all form of water precipitation from the atmosphere and it is mainly measured by rain gauge. The rain gauge you can see in the picture is the instrument which is used. Fifth is air velocity. Air velocity mainly measured by anemometer or wind direction. Air velocity means simply the wind speed we have to measure including wind direction. So it is usually measured in meter per second so 0.5 meter per second speed indicates the complete calm and smoke rising vertically whereas 3.3 meter per second indicates slight breeze or leaves rustling 10 meter per second indicates strong wind uh, branches of the trees moving where 15 to 20 meter per second indicates storm 25 to 30 indicates scale and 30 to 50 meter per second indicates hurricane
now we are moving for the effective temperature effective temperature is not an actual temperature in the sense that it can be measured by thermometer effective temperature defined as that index which correlates combined effect of air temperature relative humidity and air velocity the comfortable air temperature is 25 to 27 degrees celsius for average human or person whereas predicted for our is 1 to 3 liter the corrected effective temperature includes mainly the difference from the effective temperature is the globe thermometer in the chart we can see on the left side there is a globe thermometer temperature readings and the right side well at bulb temperature readings and the in middle of that uh, cross and checks is showing the air velocity so for the corrected effective temperature these conversion factors are used and on, on that basis we can see the corrected effective temperature this is an ordinary thermometer enclosed in matte black painted copper globe 150 mm in diameter if the air is warm and opposing surface are cold radiation from the globe will be emitted and the reading will be lower than air temperature in vacuum ice it is inertia of 15 minute but after this time the reading gives a combination of air temperature and effect of any received or emitted radiation so that is it for the meteorological environment thank you